it's not cheese meal with meals it is not interviews with meals i guess we can use this one meals so on today's show with meals i'm going to be telling you guys about my experience with the esco skeleton walk this video was before the whole covid 19 so that's why you know whenever you guys keep watching you're going to be seeing me in public and you know doing all that normal stuff that we took for granted but anyways guys if you're watching this i hope you do not get the covid 19 it, it is a really scary time to be alive and i'm not gonna lie guys it's scary because um well shit if you've been paralyzed like me your lungs and diaphragms are affected and we all know that the covid 19 attacks your fucking lungs so anyways guys stay safe out there much love for meals and hope this is all over soon because nobody likes this new lifestyle um so yeah just keep watching and i you guys will see clips of me before the whole covid 19. Dun dun. hey guys what is up today is my first day being part of a research i'm about to get off i will let you guys know like what it is what it what everything is about um i was stuck in traffic for like a whole hour and a half i think the hospital is like um 25 miles away from my house so it took me like a whole hour and 30 minutes to get here i'm about to get off though because i really have to pee and um yeah i have to pee now so this is um, where i'm at right now of course i always park in a handicap um handicappy parking space and this is where i'll be heading so i'm gonna be rolling in the code um so yeah oh, that's not too bad huh? no so why are we sending it so um you register in this rehab program they're gonna use the robot to help you to regain walking ability but before and after, we would like to get some idea of how your performance is. So this is assessment day. Today is before your training, right? I believe this is our first visit, right? Mm -hmm. So we're trying to uh, set a baseline of how good you are muscle-wise and kinematic-wise. So this sensor measures your muscle firing. This one is called a bipolar sensor and measures your uh, skin. Like, I'm sorry, measures your uh, muscle activity during walking and uh, we'll attach this on your legs relax one more time please relax very good and again lift your heel up on my side and relax and one more time Good. the process is going to be different for some people because i was able to tell them like hey well this doesn't feel right it's too tight or whatever and if something is really tight then that could cause spasms and that can cause you to not be able to um, stand up straight or whatever this is something just to be cautious about you know you know your body so you know <laughs> assessments are different for everyone because some people can walk without braces some people can't i can walk without braces so it just depends and your therapist is going to be able to tweak it depending on what are your weaknesses and strengths so don't really overthink that video you know that was just because i'm able to walk without braces don't judge my butt because um before my injury i used to have a big butt well i had a little something going on and now, and now I don't really have nothing, so don't look at it. <laughs> There's gonna be um, assessments, and they're all you know to check your range of motion, your specificity, your functional mobility, your exo exoskeleton measurement, your myographic activity, your gait speed, your gait endurance, your standing balance, your Don Dolph exoskeleton sit to stand, standing balance, walking, depending on how strong you are. So for those wondering why I'm wearing this mask, it's because it was part of the test. This is a VO2 max test. A VO2 max is a peak oxygen usage of athletes at maximum exercise and is measured in millimeters of oxygen. So this metabolic test is an excellent indicator of an aerobotic 
fitness. Athletes with a higher VO2 max values can tolerate higher exercise intensity and volume than those whose VO2 max values indicate lower levels of conditioning. Walking with this mass was harder, I'm not even going to lie, but I think it would be really interesting to see what was my VO2 max um, test result before my accident compared to now. All that LED okay. so it emits invisible light that can be captured by those, you see those three lenses aligned in a row. Those are position, motion tracking position sensor or cameras. They can see signals emitting from here. And we are going to attach a bunch of these, a bunch of these on your lower body. So they form a whole set. And once you start walking, um, you can see it in the computer software in real time. A virtual avatar mm -hmm. synchronized with your movement. Basically, you can dance in it and a virtual guy will dance with you, okay, like a little avatar. That's so, so cool. You can... you can turn back. Turn and walk towards the center. Erin, this time walk slower than her, so you're not blocking her, okay? Go ahead. Awesome. Nope. Keep going, don't stop at the blue, keep going. So today is day two. This is how my schedule is gonna be looking. Today is Tuesday the seventh, which means that um, my session starts at 9 a.m. and I am here early as usual. It is 8:35. Um, but oh, they know me as Millie, mm, Millie, and my street name is Mills, as you guys know it. Well, anyways, um. Yeah, I'm excited. Yesterday, I was, like, super tired because the assessment was, like, four hours. Um, so, I made sure to eat, like, a lot of protein. And then this morning, I ate me, like, a big protein um, meal. I ate two eggs and then some ham. And I added two slices of bread, like a little sandwich. Um, my mom helped me make it. It was really good. And I drank my coffee, of course. It's already done. So, yeah, I'm about to go in. And then I'll let you guys know how I feel later on today. Like if I'm like super tired. Because the thing is that with this, I can feel my legs tired. So I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know if like this schedule is going to work. I haven't told her yet. But I want to know how I feel tomorrow. Because I'm going to be walking for like a whole hour. So I'm going to be tired. So I feel like it's different with people that can't feel their legs. Because like they don't know if they're tired or not. Their legs. And well, I use my legs every day. Even though I don't. I do. Which I do, I, I use my legs every day, but still, like, I don't know how tired I'm going to be tomorrow. So, I don't know if this schedule of me working out every day is going to work. Because when I work out, I don't work out my legs every day. I mean, I do when I when I walk in at home, when I, you know, try to do the walking at home. But it's it's not like, um like, I don't, I don't work them out. Like, I don't, work, when I go to the gym every day, I don't work out my legs every day because it's, my legs take longer to recover so i don't know if this is going to be something doable for me my body yet but you know they're using me as their experiment so i'm using them as my experiment i think it's great i think I, if you guys don't have money for therapy to totally be a part of a research program um try to get in every hospital has one so i'll let you guys know how the study goes i'm pretty excited because i am so blessed to be here in the united states because this is like free therapy 
and I'm helping the spinal cord injury community by being part of the research. So, yes. So if you have the chance, I mean, why not? All right, guys. Well, I'm about to go in. Um, it is 8:38. I've been talking to you guys for three minutes. See ya. Don't wanna be ya. So it is 8:52. So I only have a little bit of time to get my chair in, get inside, do the elevator. So wish me luck. Bye. So this local study was performed at the UT Health Mortar recovery laboratorio at the neuro recovery research center at tier memorial herman purpose of this study is to measure and compare the neuromuscular and cardiopulmonary responses okay so they're trying to see if like walking walking with a robot actually improves your muscle strength your heart and lung function so guys um let me like dumb it out and stuff because i know that if i didn't have a spinal cord injury i'll be like uh what wait what what you know and then I'm not saying that you guys are dumb, but you know, you're just ignorant in that topic and that's okay because I'm ignorant in a lot of other topics. I think I'm really familiarized with these um, terms and stuff because I myself have a spinal cord injury. So don't think that you're dumb. You're just, you, you, you just don't fucking know because it, it doesn't really affect you unless you're paralyzed or you have somebody that has been paralyzed in your life. Uh, if you guys live in Houston, I would definitely recommend you guys to get in contact with the tier research uh, department just because dog from friend of friend this is free therapy all right you can use this device if um you are in therapy right but they charge you like 200 to 300 dollars an hour and i mean si tienes la lana, if you had the type of money then so be it go i support but the thing is that when you're and you're a part of this research research it's like free therapy dude so it's like you're tricking the system and they're using you but you're using them so it's like a win-win dude and you know what this spinal cord injury should do like there's no cure so any therapy does help your bones does help your body your muscles it's fucking science but pues bueno, um, I would suggest you guys to get in contact with them. I will leave their information down below. That way you guys can, you know, get some free therapy, be a part of the research, and, you know, help the community in the future. Before you even get approved, guys, you have to do a bone mineral density, a mini mental state examination, lower extremity muscle strength, and they have to test your spasticity. So after you're cleared with that, with your doctor and with your PTs, OTs, you guys will pretty me, you're pretty me, you guys will be um, set for this. I did and yep, 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 yep. They make you sign a whole bunch of paper, confidential, blah, blah, blah. They, I will link them um, below so you guys can know like, you know, everything that they gave me. all your paperwork is done you pass your test and all that good stuff you have one pre-assessment and two post assessments and they actually scheduled for 15 sessions each session was an hour and a half but my body didn't allow me to do all the 15 sessions I, I feel like this test was different for me because I can feel my legs and feel when they're tired and I actually use my legs every day compared to somebody that's completely paralyzed and you know me, I try to walk as much as I can throughout the day, but um, me working out five times a week was a lot for my legs. So I only did like once, sometimes I only did three per, three per session, sometimes I only did one. I, I didn't, I, I lost track of how many sessions I did, but I didn't do the whole 15. It was just too much for my body and I would feel really, really tired. Like just the suit itself is like 50 pounds. And I know how to like walk, like my legs know how to do it. But whenever I was walking with, whenever I was walking with the robot, it was like fighting it. So the robot was telling me to walk a certain way, you know, the normal way, quotation marks. And I was trying to do something else. So I was, I was like kind of like working against it, which made me more tired. And I actually, 
I actually felt like I was carrying the whole robot instead of it carrying myself. I don't know if that even makes sense. Um, but it, I didn't really see, I, I didn't really see a difference, to be honest. Um, there's just like, I can't really see a difference in like 10 sessions, if that makes sense. So it's not like me telling y'all, hey, don't do not do it because you won't see no fucking... I'm not trying to discourage you guys, but 10 sessions is not going to cut it. I think if you would have... I think you could even do the study like twice. But because I can feel my legs, guys, I feel like I wasn't... Not the best fit, but maybe I, I could have... It's not that I wasn't the best fit. It's just that I know it can help somebody else that can't feel their legs, right? Because it helps you to just like... It helps with muscle memory... And it's a workout at the end of the day because I'll be super tired, dude. I would do it and I'll be tired for three days. Like, I would when I would go to the gym, dude, like, my neighbors are, like, jumping out, dude. And I and, and I feel like you guys can hear that, but I ho hope my voice is louder than that. Um, There's a lot of hospitals that do this, not just here. So just ask around, dude. Close mouth don't get fed. So if you don't look it up, you don't reach out to people, you will never find out. But here's this video. Um, it's pretty cool and I think it can honestly make your day, your month if you have never walked after your injury. It give, It's pretty cool because the robot actually stands you up. There was times that I was like, okay, well, let me not. They would tell me, um, they would tell me like, hey, you know, pusas fuerza, like stand up, try to like push up. That way you can help the robot. But I was like, well, let me not try. Like, well, how does it feel if I don't try? So one time I just let like my body loose and the robot legit stood me up. That way, lo puedo decir muy confidente, saying like, hey, well, the robot legit stands you up. Like, you don't even have to do no pressure. So you have no feelings, no strength in your legs. It honestly stands you up. So yeah, there, there's my feedback to y'all. No, they did not pay me. I will never lie to y'all like that. Y'all know me, I'll keep it real till I die. Each time till the motherfucking die. Um, I did record this dos diferentes días because because I got hungry and um, I was like, I'll go back and I never came back to my room. And so this is why I had two different little outfits or whatever. Thank you so much for watching guys. See ya. Don't wanna be here. Thank you for watching my video guys. See ya, don't wanna be ya.